Hello? Yeah. What are you starting to say, Hal? You were starting to tell me you remembered that. Yeah, no, no, no. I was, uh, I had gotten a, uh, at the last minute, I had gotten a press pass. Uh, I think I remember it was like Pipitone and Tony Pipitone and David Simon asked me if I wanted to go shoot the concert because they, they had an extra ticket and a press pass. They went and, and they scalped one of the tickets they had gotten themselves. But uh, they gave me a, a ticket and a press pass, so I go. And, and I think I, I told you earlier, I had to, Tony Pipitone lent me his car. <laughs> so, so I could drive to the concert because I didn't have a car, you know, so I, I drove his. And I get there, and it was a really good seat. I remember that. It was in the, um, it was like in an upper row, but it was literally right in front of the stage. And uh, so I was sitting there taking pictures, and next thing you know, these bouncers try to grab. They're like, "You can't take pictures in here." And and I said, "I have a press pass," and they were like wrestling my camera away from me. And I and I showed them the press pass, and they held it up. I don't know who was looking at it, but then they left me alone. <laughs> you know, I was taking pictures, and I and I seem to remember one of the pictures I had. It was almost like Keith Richards was like was posing. Oh, they're great. They're really great. So, and then, of course, the one picture that I always liked was the one, the Mick Jagger one, which I still think to this day is a really good picture of him. Well, I remember yeah. that. I was there. I was at one of the shows. I don't. I, yeah, because it was several nights. It was like three nights. Um, right. And, and uh, I, I mean, you know, it was, I went with Elise, my friend Elise. It was maybe Steve was there, um, and uh, it, was, it was a real big deal, and it was the Tattoo You tour, and I, I could have sworn they opened with Start Me Up. I have this m image in my head of them opening with that, but if you look at the set lists, it says they opened with Under My Thumb. But yeah, it was pretty exciting. I, um, I, ha I wish I could remember more of the, of the show and the set. The one vivid memory I have is of of, um, you know, it was mainly an older crowd, or shall we say, it, I mean, it's, it felt that way. Um, but uh, there was this really drunk guy who was young, who literally, st he stumbled down, like he just fell <laughs> head over heels down the stairs and just puking and got, you know, vomit all over this. This older guy was just like enraged, as, as I would have been, but... <laughs> I'm remembering now, uh, <laughs> I think Ben from the dorm said it was like the Sanzibelt crowd because it was, uh, you know, it was definitely a... Uh, oh, God. I mean, I, I don't even remember any of that. I, I do. The only thing I remember from that show was I think Mick Jagger got in a, like a cherry picker or something and it, it went out over the audience I don't know, I seem to remember something like that. No, they did, absolutely. I've got, the pictures are all here. Because I, I put but them... then, I, the next day, of course, you know, then, so I go back after the show, develop the pictures, and, you know, I just gave them to date, Simon, you know, like, here's what I got. And then the next day, of course, the thing is huge. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the biggest picture I'd ever had on the front of the Diamondback. And incidentally, uh, then I got I got contacted by some some kids from I think it was Walt Whitman High School, and I sold them some pictures so they could put it in their school paper or something. Huh? Or I gave it to them. I don't even remember. But you but shot I, you shot the whole show. Yeah, I shot the whole show, and you know, and I was just sitting there in a seat, and <laughs> I, I had a pass. I mean, normally they wouldn't let quote unquote professional equipment in. <laughs> You right. know, like if you were going to, you know, because I think they were always afraid in those days that I don't know what they were afraid of, like you were going to make money off of it or something, you know, but it was, I think, I think you could, they'd only let you do two songs in the very front. Like if you were going to stand in a pit in the, in the very front of the stage. God, all this was done, it's pre-digital too, like you're, oh, yeah. you're trying to. Did you change lenses or were you just like. Oh yeah, I was, I, I, I. I was, yeah, I, I ran through, uh, you know, because you got to shoot stuff like that with a telephoto. 
it was bright enough that you could get away with it. Got it. I guess from the stage lights, because you were so close. Yeah. Yeah, I might have been uh, pushing the film. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, that's what you had to do in the old days. What's amazing to me are the pictures of the crowd, too. You got pictures of the crowd. You never see pictures of the crowd. Oh, God, I don't even know what I took. I have no idea. You get one shot. You, 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 there's even shots of the guys in the the uh, the, the Teamsters or whoever running the lights up uh, over the state over the stage. You got pictures here of of. Do you remember the balloon drop, dropping balloons from the um, roof? Yeah, if you say so. I, I don't remember. Well, now th th this is you've helped provide the soundtrack of uh, what I wanted to do showing these because I, you know, I can't sh have a Rolling Stones song. <laughs> <laughs> it's just us prattling on. So, yeah, that was that was one of the highlights of my uh, Diamondback career. But uh, that was one of the highlights for sure. Well, it was forty years ago. Happy anniversary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Happy 40th. Yeah, that's a, that's a long time ago. Jeez.